suspenseful and descriptive. Title, The Haunting of Willow House. In the small town of Ravenbrick, nestled deep in the heart of the countryside, stood an old and eerie house known as Willow House. Legends and rumors surrounded the dilapidated mansion, as whispers of its haunted past echoed through the town. Many claimed to have witnessed strange occurrences within its walls, and some even swore that they had seen the ghost. Many claimed to have witnessed strange occurrences within its walls, and some even swore that they had seen the ghostly figure of a young girl peering out of the attic window. One stormy night, a group of friends decided to put their courage to the test and explore Willow House. Determined to uncover the, the truth behind the rumors, they gathered at the entrance, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and excitement. The wind howled through the trees, adding an eerie soundtrack to their adventure. As they stepped inside, the atmosphere changed instantly. The air grew thick and heavy, and an icy chill ran down their spines. The house creaked and groaned, as if it were alive, welcoming its visitors with a sinister presence. The friends exchanged nervous glances, but their curiosity pushed them forward. They ventured deeper into the house, their footsteps muffled by the layers of dust that covered the floor. The walls were adorned with faded wallpaper, peeling away to reveal the decaying wood beneath. The once grand chandelier swayed ominously, casting eerie shadows on the walls. In one room, they stumbled upon an old music box, its tune playing softly in the darkness. The melody sent shivers down their spines, and they couldn't help but feel a sense of foreboding. The room seemed to come alive with whispers and murmurs, as if the spirits of the past were trying to communicate with them. As they ascended the creaky staircase, the friends reached the attic, where the ghostly figure of the young girl had been seen. The room was filled with broken toys and tattered clothes, remnants of a childhood long gone. A sudden gust of wind slammed the door shut behind them, trapping them in the attic. Panic set in as they realized they were not alone. Shadows danced across the walls, and the temperature dropped to an unbearable cold. The friends huddled together, their hearts pounding in their chests, as they heard the sound of footsteps approaching. Each step grew louder and closer, until it stopped right outside the attic door. With a deafening creak, the door swung open, revealing a pale figure cloaked in darkness. The friends screamed in terror, their voices echoing through the house. But instead of attacking them, the figure simply stood there, its eyes filled with sadness and longing. In a whispery voice, the figure spoke, recounting a tragic tale of a young girl who had once lived in Willow House. She had been abandoned by her family and left to suffer a lonely existence. The friends listened intently, their fear slowly giving way to empathy. As the figure vanished into thin air, the friends were left with a newfound understanding. They realized that the ghostly presence in Willow House was not one of malevolence, but of a lost soul seeking solace. From that day forward, they vowed to share the story of the haunted house, in the hopes of bringing peace to the restless spirit. And so, the legend of Willow House continued to captivate the town of Ravenbrick, reminding its inhabitants of the power of compassion and the enduring presence of the supernatural.